hello friends in today's session we are going to complete uh, all the remaining examples related exploring java.lang package okay so we will start with the project called clone demo Okay, in that I create new package called package clone demo and class clone demo as usual clone demo with public static void main string arguments okay so now we will create first class test clone implements clonable interface okay. in that i create two variables integer a double b Now we will write a method that will call objects clone, test clone, clone, test, clone test, then try, call clone in object return test clone we have to cast it test clone super dot clone and if clone is not supported I write clone not supported exception in. Okay, so here I print cloning not allowed. Cloning not allowed. And return this clonable object. Why this? Because this extends the clonable interface. So this is a clonable object now. Now in our main method. I create two objects. First is x1 test clone x1 is equal to new test clone. Test clone x2 now x1 dot a is equal to 10 x1 dot b x1 dot b is equal to 20.98 okay now x2 is equal to x1 dot clone test this method will generate the clone okay so it will return with super dot clone and cast it to test clone object now we will print x1 colon plus x1 dot a plus x1 dot b 
then x2 is equal to x2 dot a plus space x2 dot b. Okay. So now I will run this one. X1 is 10, 28, 98. 10, 28, 98. Why? Because X2 is a copy of X1. Okay. So in, the, in this case, what we have done, we are created two objects and created copy of one and stored into another. Okay. Now, we will see one more example of cloning in that we will override the clone method so that it can be called from outside of the class and for that access specifier of clone must be public so that outside of class we can call the clone method that is overridden clone method okay so now we will create second project clone demo project 2 okay so in that i create package clone demo project 2 ok in this case I create clone demo 2 class clone demo 2 with public static void main ok first class will be the same class test clone implements implements clonable okay so now integer a double b integer a double b now clone is now overridden here must be public must be public so that it will be called outside of its class okay so public object clone so clone is a method name that are we are overriding over here c is small then return super dot clone return super dot clone okay and close the clone not supported exception okay so everything is written in try catch block automatically and cloning not allowed cloning not allowed and return this now in our main class we are creating two objects as per the previous example test clone x1 is equal to new test clone okay and test clone x2 x1 dot a is equal to 10 for example x1 dot b here e again 20.98 and clone is called directly okay so x2 is equal to test clone in the previous example we created method okay clone test but here we are 
directly calling this method x1 dot close because it is old okay and we are casting it to class test clone that is type test clone now we are we will print it x1 x1 plus x1 dot a plus space plus x1 dot b same way for x2 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 dot a x2 dot b output will be the same only the method is different in the previous example we created our own method that is test clone test and here we override um, the method that is clone overridden method of object class okay so we will start uh, go to the next example that is run type type information we will move to this close this one new rtti directly run type run time type info project okay so that we will understand in it, it in future now i create a package rtti package rtti package rtti then class rtti class rtti with public static void main okay so now i create classes class x in in that int a float b int a comma float b class y extends a class y extends x it adds its own parameter that is double c over here and I, in our main class x x new x y y new y okay so now what we are doing over here is class cl object class cl object cl object is equal to x1 dot get class sorry x dot get class and what it will get get class reference get class class is not a particular class it is a main class that is cla double s class reference okay so next x is object of type x is object of type what cl object dot get name Okay. Same way we will do for our Y class. Y dot get class and Y is of type CL object dot get name. Okay. Then CL object now is equal to cl object dot get super class and now we will print y super class is x it will be automatically printed y super class is cl object dot 
get name of super class. Now I will run this one. X is object of type X, Y is object of type Y, and Y is super class is X. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now we will move to the next project. Close this one. And our next project is Math method. Uh, math method is new Java project. New Java project angles. Okay, angles demo. In that, I create a package package angles demo new package. New class. Class C with angles. Okay. Theta plus degrees is math two radians theta. Okay, when you are using the two radians method, you should use it with the degree. Pass the radial, uh, radial degree inside and you will have the radials. Okay. Then again theta is equal to 1.312. Then this out. Theta radians is. Thus, the radius is math dot two degrees theta plus degree. Okay, so you have to remember that when you are converting to radians, you should pass the degree inside. You must pass the degree inside, and when you are converting to degree, you should pass the radians. <coughs> And you will get the degrees. Okay. So these are very simple methods. We have seen so many methods in theory part. You can practice them at home. <coughs> okay. Now the next is. project close one okay 
So now, trade group demo. We are going to create this very large project. Okay. You can type in with me, or you can uh, take a screenshot and then continue with your practice. Okay, you can uh, start the video in background and open your Eclipse and type as I am talking, or you can take a screenshot. Now, I create a package, package create group demo. Okay, so in that I create a class thread group demo. <coughs> thread group demo with public static void main. Okay, first of all, class new thread exchange thread. Boolean suspend flag new thread parameterized constructor string thread name then thread group pg object okay so now super following the base class constructor with tg object as a parameter and thread name here new thread New thread plus this suspend flag is equal to false. Start. Here we start the thread. Start the thread. Then Public void run entry point public void run try for int i is equal to zero. Sorry, i is equal to five, i greater than zero, i minus minus five times I am iterating over here. Get name. Plus colon get name plus colon plus i. Then sleep for one second, one thousand millisecond. That is one second. Then synchronize this why suspend flag wait why suspend flag is equal to true or you can write it like this suspend flag you have to wait <coughs> wait okay and after this the catch block here Exception E Exception E Get name Then get name exit
then void my suspend method suspend flag is equal to true then void my resume in flag equal to false and notify then class thread group demo thread group group a is equal to new thread group and whose name is group a group b new thread group group b okay so now we will add new thread ob1 new new thread one group a so likewise we will add one by one threads over here new thread ob2 is equal to new new thread to group a then new thread ob3 is equal to 3 group b and ob4 four group b okay here is the output from list so list of threads we are listing over here one by one then next group a dot list then group b dot list okay then system dot out dot printed first of all we will suspend group a suspending group a thread tg thread tg a new thread group a This much array I am creating over here. Then group A dot enumerate T G. What it do? Get threads in a group. Get threads in a group. Then for integer i is equal to zero.
for integer i is equal to 0, i less than pga dot length i plus plus. What we are doing here? New thread. Tj of i. My subscript. It will suspend each thread. Then try red dot slip for four seconds. Catch interrupted exception. Main thread interrupted. Resuming group A. For integer i is equal to 0, i less than tga dot length i plus plus. What we are doing over here is new thread casting to new thread then tga of i my resume okay here we are suspending and here we are resuming okay resume threads in a group Then try waiting for threads to finish ob1 dot join ob2 dot join OB3 dot join OB4 dot join and catch interrupted exception E
then exception E. Exception E. In main thread. Okay, so what we are doing over here is we are printing exception T dot to string because it is returning nothing. Okay, so now after this main thread exiting main thread exiting. Okay, so now I will run this project. You can see the output. Synchronize the keyword was missing. Okay, here is the output. New thread 1, 2, group A, 3, 4, group B. Okay, 2 is started with 5 and 1 is started with 5. Then output A, maximum priority 10, then 3, 4, with 5 then thread 1 5 group A thread 2 5 group A then maximum priority B for group B 10 for group B then suspending group A 4 3 4 3 4 3 we are uh, joining we are waiting for all the threads to finish in between we suspended resume uh, suspended group A and resume group A then waiting for the threads to finish then after that 3 will exit 2 will, 4 will exit, 1 exit, 2 exit and uh, just because we uh, suspended and resumed group A so that uh, we started group A first but in between we suspended and resumed so that first of all 3 and 4 was finished first here 3 and 4 exited first and then 1 and 2 will be exited ok so in this case we have understood how thread group is working. Okay. So now we will see the last example of this chapter that is exploring java.lang package. Okay. So last example is package test demo. Okay, in that I create package Okay, here right click class package test package test with public static void main 
okay we will create a packages array for package packages packages is equal to package dot get packages get all packages okay then for int i is equal to 0 i less than packages array dot length i plus plus so packages dot i dot get name each packages name plus space plus then packages then packages of i dot get implementation title plus space plus enter packages of i dot get implementation vendor plus space plus packages of i dot get implementation Version and then semicolon. So we are getting all the information about the packages. Now I will run this one. This is the complete information about packages. Get implementation title, version, and vendor, and also the name. Name is displayed correctly, and you know, all the information is null. Maybe it is not allowed because it is confidential, or maybe it is not available. Okay, so this way we have completed finally the chapter exploring java.lang package. Okay, in the next session we will start with the collection framework, and then that class is all about the collections theory and practical both the parts so meet you in the next session thank you so much